Hello there, it's the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com. I'm back with my purple gloves on uh, to do another video on trading cards. We are going to look at this today. Uh, we're not going to open the entire box, but we will open quite a bit. I'm not sure exactly how much, maybe like eight, eight or you know, six or eight packs, something like that. I want to get a good look at it. Uh, it is a 2UM box, but before we talk too much about what that is, uh, I want to look at my favorite cards of the day, which are changing, which is great. We like to see that. You know, throughout the day of filming, I keep track of whatever cards I think are favorite from all the videos. Uh, and they should change each video because if they don't, it means we didn't pull anything good in the last video. And we should keep pulling better things. So uh, my top card is going to stay this. It's an MLR, which is a high tier card from Kmon's. Yeah, SCP Foundation Kmon. Uh, Cardmon set. So it's kind of a Pokemon ripoff bootleg type thing. Uh, they're not Pokemon, but they look very similar to Pokemon. It has stats and it has a game system, kind of like Pokemon uh, TCG, but very different. So a uh, different game entirely. Uh, but the cards look great on their own, even if you're not trying to play the TCG, as you can see. And so that MLR will be my favorite. Now, my second favorite was this LR, also from that same set. Uh, but I'm going to retire this because I pulled this during the last video. This is an LR from uh, Hero Battle, <laughs> Kaio Hero Battle, but not Marvel Hero Battle. This is from an offshoot of Hero Battle uh, based on the Legend of Chin uh novel and animation so it was a 3d animation show uh three kingdoms era stuff again so historical china and this is a tcg expansion of hero battle uh based on that it has the same kind of statistics as hero battle does uh but it's not entirely compatible obviously because like the back is different you know the uh marvel hero battle black back is black whereas this one's white and blue so you they're not directly compatible, but they are very similar. So that'll be my second place card. Now, this is something I had been avoiding for a while. <laughs> you hear that from me often on this channel. Uh, the reason I, that I say things like that is because there are so many different sets and products available from so many different places. <laughs> That looking at everything is impossible. Like, even with everything I look at, I'm not even close to getting to everything, right? I'm maybe getting to, like, half, if that, right? Uh, but there's a lot out there that I just never look at. And I have to be a little strategic about it, right? Like, I want to bring in Marvel, so I'll bring in some Marvel stuff. I want to bring in Doraemon, so I'll bring in some Doraemon sets. Uh, but I can't bring in every single property, or it'll just get overwhelming and confusing. Um, but over time, I do want to get to them all. Um, but this is just one that, that I know is huge. I just had been ignoring it, but now we're getting to it. This is Detective Conan. So that that is a, a very, very famous uh, Japanese manga and then television show, uh, animation show. Uh, incredibly long-running thing. So it started in 1996. And, you know, a lot of stuff did, like Gundam and stuff started before that, but wasn't quite as prolific. Uh, now, Detective Conan was a kid's show made for kids, and so it had episodes every single day. And as a result of that, it has 31 seasons. 31. And the episode count is over a 1,000. It's like 1,107 or something. Total episodes. That's a lot. Now, on top of that, there were also movies, many movies made. Uh, so this is a huge franchise with a ton of different media to approach it from uh, and all sorts of different offshoots and storylines and all kinds of stuff, right? But the basic concept is Detective Conan is a high school kid who, while investigating a kind of mysterious organization, had his body changed into an elementary student. So he's in high school level intelligence, stuck in an elementary student body, and going to elementary school. While he's doing that, he's trying to solve mysteries. So every episode there's a mystery, he's got to solve it. And the way he ends up solving the mysteries is by impersonating people. So he dresses up and impersonates his own father, a police officer, 
Uh, he impersonates you know, all kinds of people to try and solve the cases. Uh, yeah. So anyway, that's uh, enough maybe about this uh, to get us going. Uh, I think the only other thing I would say is if you have never heard the term or the word, if you've never, <laughs> let me phrase all that. If you've never heard the the name Detective Conan before, that's because that's kind of the Japanese name for this show. In the West, this was released as Case Closed. Case Closed. So if you watched this show in America or anywhere in the West, you probably watched it as Case Closed. And all the character names are different. <laughs> so, you know, all, all the characters have different American names. They aren't their Japanese names. Uh, so it's a, you, if you watch this in the West, this is going to be a little confusing because it's using the Japanese names and everything. But it's also going to be using Japanese characters. You're not going to understand it anyway. Not a big deal. Uh, <laughs> now, it's by Little Frog. Now, there are a lot of them. I bought the Little Frog one because I love Little Frog cards, and I think they do a great job. And so that's the one I got. Um, there's well over 30 different Detective Conan boxes you can choose from. Uh, from retail products like this, this is a 2 yuan 30 pack retail box. You can also get, uh, you know, 10 yuan retail boxes. You can get premium sets, uh, anniversary sets. There's all sorts of stuff out there if you enjoy uh, the Detective Conan um, franchise. But like I said, this is just the one that I decided to get, and mostly because it's Little Frog. <laughs> so how about we do, well, you know what, let's do eight. We'll do eight packs. And we'll take a look at that. That should give us a good idea, I think, of what is in here. And a good idea of sort of what our pull rates are going to be. Oh, sorry. I should have showed the box a little bit more. So there's our set. KN2M04. M04 probably means it's the fourth set. And so then these are kind of our rarities. So you've got UTRs, PTRs. SGRs, SER, SR, ECR, S, uh, SR, and then a lot of rares. That's our set list. Kind of cool to get a checklist like that right on the back. We dig in and see what we got. Now these are going to be retail cards, and it's based on a children's animation, so I am not expecting the most amazing cards in the world here. But hopefully we'll get some interesting stuff at least. Uh, so there's a, a rare. And these are characters from the show now. I like it. I like the progression too. Uh, you can see here the uh, these rares just have cracked ice foil on them. All of them are just foiled with cracked ice. But then you move into the SR, and you've got a kind of customized refraction, sort of hexagon pattern in the background, which is kind of a, a neat little effect there. And then the SSR is all stamped in gold. So they definitely are upping the printing tech at each level, which is, is cool. It's cool to see. So this has the gold stamping. Everything has been stamped. And that cr creates kind of an emboss. So basically like a heated gold hammer comes down on this card and makes that imprints on it. How oh, cool. Good. There you go. Detective Conan, case closed. If, you, if you're into, like, mysteries and stuff, yeah, I mean, that's what it's all about. Now, keep in mind, it has, like I said, thousands of episodes, so... Uh, well, not thousands, but a thousand. So you will have a lot of trouble, I think. You would not be able to, like, catch up on it or something like that. That would probably never happen. It's also still running, so as you were trying to catch up, they'd be making more episodes. Uh, but maybe if you want to start with this, I would grab one of the recent films. All the films are kind of self-contained. So if you watch any of the movies from this, you'll get a very good idea, I think, of what the story is about. And then from there, you can decide sort of uh, what, you know, if anything, you want to 
buy trading card wise. Yeah, those SRs are slick looking. The stamping is just so crisp on there. I, I really like it. Another one here. We're coming up on kind of the holiday period, at least here in the West. Uh, China had their holidays last month and uh, now, I guess, this weekend. Uh, this weekend is 11-11, Singles Day, because there's like 1-1-1-1, right? It's two pairs of singles. Uh, so they call that Singles Day in, in China. And it's very, very uh, big consumer holiday. So just like Black Friday uh, is basically what Singles Day is. All the stores all over China have huge sales, and AliExpress is no different. So if you go on AliExpress right now through the 17th, um, they are running a massive sale where you can save, you know, 33%, 40%, depending on how you like stack coupons and set things up. Um, but you gotta be careful because a lot of the coupons expire or have limited uses. It's like a lot of the coupons you're only allowed to use once. Uh, and then some are limited and are, are, are they're already gone. Like a lot of the worldwide coupons that aren't valid anymore because too many people use them already. Uh, not a dupe. But yeah, if you, if you do it right, you can save a lot of money. I did a $300 order this morning that I only ended up paying about $220 for, which is, you know, I saved like literally $80 from coupons and things. That's a lot. That's like five free boxes almost, or six free boxes, depending on which ones you get. So yeah, definitely get on there and get an order ready if you want to uh, participate in <laughs> Singles Day, which you should, because this is the biggest sale. There won't be better prices ever the rest of the year on anything. And a lot of the stuff is marked down, too. So, like, I had a cart set up at $300 before the sale started, and when the sale actually started, so many things got marked down that my cart was only, like, $280. I had to add more to it in order to get over 300 uh, so that also happens and is kind of cool, right? Uh, but yeah, the prices on a lot of stuff is the lowest you will ever get it. Uh, I picked up four more Chainsaw Man KX DJ2 boxes for $20 each, which is below case. Case is 22 So I would say these are typical little frog cards. You know, you've got custom refraction work here and here. Uh, not quite as high end as their Gundam cards. These are more, I would say, in line with uh, what they make for Goddess Story. So Little Frog is the main publisher of the Goddess Story line of cards, and they use similar printing techniques there. Those are waifu cards, though. These aren't, although they kind of can seem like it a little bit. That's just Japan being Japan. But it's not. These are not actually waifu cards in, in this sense of... Wow. Oh, that's an ECR. Okay. I was like, what rarity is this? It's an ECR. So that's an ECR card. And he looks really ready to uh, solve that case. <laughs> so there you go. Detective Conan. Uh, we That's basically one box. Uh, well, eight packs from a box. And I, that's kind of what you get there for cards. A bunch of character cards. I like it because it doesn't have um, images from the sh the anime. That would have been, I think, kind of lame. So I prefer to get these uh, character cards like that. That's really nice. Uh, okay, well, I'll go ahead and stop this video here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if you enjoy the Case Closed Detective Conan property, 
you know, this is just one of many, many, many uh, sets that are available out there that you could get. Uh, so, you know, go ahead and take a look. You know, you don't have to get this one. Uh, but the, this one is pretty good. Um, and there are five UN sets in here that would probably give you better cards uh, if you are interested. But uh, yeah, for now, I'll stop the video here and get set up for the next one. Catch you later. Bye-bye.